I feel like it would be a sad world without butterflies. For the last three years, Eve Sandoval of Madison Heights has been raising and releasing butterflies in her backyard. It kind of turned into this like hobby passion. I start raising black swallowtails and then I had a friend give me um, three monarchs and that was it for me. Just last year, Eve raised and released around 160 monarchs. And I do that because their numbers are quite low and it helps keep them in population. According to a biological diversity study, Monarchs have been on a steady decline in the U.S. for the past two decades. That's because many of their breeding habitats have been covered in herbicide sprays like weed killers. Those two things are pretty much against monarchs right now, and that's happening more and more globally. Um, so you're seeing a decline pretty drastically. That's why Eve is making it her mission to make sure her front and backyards are accessible to monarch butterflies. This year I've only released six, but it's really early. I have 49 eggs right now, and I also have about a dozen chrysalises on my porch. According to Eve, monarch butterflies love plants like milkweeds and coscomb flowers. And in our area where we're at in Michigan, we have common milkweed and we have swamp milkweed. And the butterflies, they will come for miles to just have the nectar of that plant. And it's also a host plant, so they lay their eggs on it. And Eve is hoping other Michiganders join in on her mission to save them. Once you raise monarchs, you are like, you fall in love with them. They're just majestic. They're magical. And this might kind of sound like a little wiki in a way, but I feel like they appreciate it. They know your presence is there and they know that you're caring for them. And I feel like they pretty much change your whole being. For 7 Action News, I'm Jetty Johnson. Oh, yeah.